Joseph Robinette Biden will become the nation's 46th president when he takes the oath of office in just a few hours. Yeah, before he leaves office, President Trump reflecting on his tenure and issued 143 pardons and commutations late last night. Fox's Lauren Blanchard has the latest from Washington. There will be a transfer of power by noon here in Washington. What authorities are hoping and have planned for is that it will be a peaceful one. This scene is set for Joe Biden's historic inauguration. It starts with the traditional morning mass. President-elect Joe Biden and Vice President-elect Kamala Harris will take their oath of office on the west front of the Capitol. The soon-to-be 46th president is expected to deliver a message of unity to a country battling a pandemic, racial divisions, and economic uncertainty, a point he made on Tuesday night. To heal, we must remember. It's hard sometimes to remember, but that's how we heal. There will still be A-list stars to perform, but a small live audience. Pandemic restrictions and fears over a repeat of the January 6th attack on the Capitol have left a normally packed National Mall and Capital City nearly empty. And hours before his term ends, President Trump issued more than 100 pardons and commutations, including to his former advisor Steve Bannon and rapper Lil Wayne. The first family moving down to his resort in Florida, first holding an event at Joint Base Andrews. His vice President Mike Pence will not be attending. I want to thank the American people. To serve as your president has been an honor beyond description. On his first day in office, President-elect Biden will sign 15 executive orders, and in the coming days, he will reverse a ban on transgender Americans in the military and a ban on federal funding for foreign groups that provide abortion assistance. In Washington, Lauren Blanchard, Fox News.